Hi, this is Kim Kohler from Emerging Creatively Tutorials, and this is ECT TV, episode 72. So, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make these super cute earrings. And they're really simple, and you can wear them just as is. They're also a great frame for if you want to do some wire work inside them, or if you want to wire wrap some beads to them. So let's get started. These are the materials and tools you'll need for this project. You'll need 16 gauge half hard round wire. I happen to be using aluminum wire just for your own knowledge, so it's really soft. Um, half hard is really the way to go for this project. You'll also need a pair of earring wires and you can make your own or use pre-purchased earring wires. In my last episode of ECT TV, episode 71, I showed you how to make earring wires so you can refer back to that and see how to make earring wires if you want to make your own. And then the tools you'll need are wire cutters, chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, and then you're going to need some sort of mandrel. I am using this beadsmith, um, I think it's a, called the 4X mandrel. Basically it came with four different tops and the handle pops off and there's different shapes and this is the round one. And you can actually make these any shape you want so you could use a different shape if you like but I am going to be showing you round and then you'll need a chasing hammer and that's um, this hammer has a nice round side and a ball peen side and we're going to be using the flat side to hammer our wire and flatten it and then you'll need something to hammer on like a steel block so we start by making a hoop shape so we just bend the wire around our mandrel and if you do not have a mandrel like this you can use something else that's cylindrical to bend your wire around and form a hoop shape. And then I'm just going to trim off the excess here and just make sure to leave at least a quarter of an inch on either side of where the wires kind of cross. And then just make sure you have a flush cut on each side, which is using the back of the wire cutters toward what you're cutting. And I'm grabbing my round nose pliers, and we're going to put a loop on the ends of the wires here. And we're going to do it by having the wires face out away from the um, earring wire. So think of this as the front, and we're going to go away. So you hold the wire in the tip of your round nose pliers and you make sure the wire is at the top but not poking through the top of your round nose pliers. Twist away from you as far as your wrist will allow you to go. Readjust and finish the loop. And then we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. So we have these two loops. Now in most cases I would say you definitely want your loops to be the same size and you can make a mark on your round nose pliers so that they're the same. In this case it kind of doesn't matter because one side is going to go around the other so I'm just going to use that to my advantage because it's going to wrap around the other side anyway. But I do, however, encourage you to kind of strive for the same size of loops. Okay, so the next step is to hammer the wire. This will harden in the wire, and we're also going to be using a chasing hammer to flatten the wire and kind of give it some texture. If you want it to keep its round shape, then you may feel free to use a nylon or rawhide hammer, which will harden the wire without flattening it. So... We're just going to hammer and just make sure to avoid the loops. So you might want to just hold the loops off to the side. Okay, 
Okay, so now we have our hoop all hammered and we can finish this up. So I mentioned that I, as you can see, I accidentally made one loop bigger than the other loop. And I said I was going to use that to my advantage. And it works out well in this case too because it's the side that I'm going to wrap around the other side is actually the side that's larger, so it's going to be fine. Um, so if you have that happen, go ahead and just go with it. If it's the other side that's larger, it's not going to work as well. So you may want to just kind of start over again. So I have my chain nose pliers. And so on the left side, and so I'm looking at it with my loops going out away from me, I am going to use my chain nose pliers, twist this up so it is going up and down, and then I am actually going to also twist it this way because I am going to hook an earring wire into this, and so I want it to be going this way, not the other way. Or, alternatively, you could just attach this hoop to the earring wire with a jump ring that would fix that problem. <laughs> Alright, so now with this wire, we are going to very gently open this up. And if you're used to doing opening earring wires and opening jump rings, I always am telling you not to pull out. In this case, we are. We're going to pull it out to open it so it kind of looks like a kind of like a shepherd's hook and then we're going to snap it around that other loop we made and then we're going to carefully close this back up again and there we have our hoop so, now we're just going to repeat that for the other earring. And then finally, you can just open up an earring wire and slide it in the open loop, close the earring wire, and then you have these cute, simple earrings. And they can be used, like I mentioned earlier, just as is. They look cute if you like a kind of clean and simple look. Or you can wire wrap beads on these, use them as a frame, maybe you want to put some shapes on the inside. If you love making earrings and you are ready for a daily creativity challenge, I invite you to check out Earrings Every Day Month. I'm hosting it in September. It starts September 1st. There is a free version where you can sign up to get daily emails and you will get inspiration from me and sometimes you'll get a tutorial that I had on my blog occasionally. Or you can upgrade to Earrings eCourse and that is a earring tutorial every single day for the month of September. You can find out more at the link below.